of more donors. Now, our Caroline Waldrop live this morning right now at the Red Cross. Tell us more about that. Good morning, Caroline. Good morning, Bob and Kim. That's right. I'm live here at them inside the American Red Cross bus where they need your help this month. It's National Volunteer Donor Month uh, to donate blood. And uh, they say January is a very challenging month because after the busy holiday season, people are recuperating from that. And also just uh, cold and flu-like symptoms passing around the area. They want you to be healthy to donate, but they this is a time if you do need to donate, they're looking for some more supplies in that area to help folks in need. And to tell us more about that, we have the expert here, Tanya Tilly Hall who uh, is the donor coordinator representative in, here at American Red Cross. So thank you thank for joining you. us. Thank you. Thank you. To schedule an appointment, we have a new treat for donors. It's the Blood Donor app. Oh, and okay. I can so show you right here. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's an app that you can download on your Android or your iPhone. It's completely free. And if you want to schedule an appointment, it will actually tell you where the closest blood drives are to you oh. and we're trying to make it as easy and convenient as possible for our blood donors and to get this app all you have to do is go to redcrossblood.org and download the app or you can go to your uh, google play or app store for awesome. that as well. well that's fantastic that seems very easy and one thing that was cool i was talking uh, to you guys yesterday you can actually uh see where your blood's going like you know where Absolutely. the hospital's going it. to yeah i mean that's just so i fantastic. love that feature yeah that is great so folks really know where it's heading to now one pint of blood can save up to three lives which that's is right. so amazing and why do you think it's so important to donate now in january out of all months in january because we are struggling because of this uh, flu that you were talking about mm -hmm. earlier, as well as inclement weather and people recuperating from the holidays. Yes, no, so if someone's healthy right now, they're 18 years or older and they weigh 110 pounds or more, you need them. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, Schedule an appointment today, please. Yes, that's for sure. And you guys are also upping uh, your opportunities as far as uh, where this bus is going to travel because actually this bus is about to head out the door right now, right? Yeah, to Scotland. Yeah, awesome. Scotland well, County. I was about to say to Scotland, that's great. But no, so <laughs> Scotland County, Scotland Memorial Hospital. This is a magical bus. <laughs> no, that is awesome. Well, great. So it's already going somewhere uh, to help some folks out. And of course, uh, blood has a shell life of 45 days. So that's why you need, keep on needing the supplies that come in. Absolutely. We Aw do. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. And this is really cool to be inside here. It's really nice. The chairs, I test them out. They're comfortable. So that's where you'll be sitting. They'll be sure to keep you, uh, you know, calm throughout the process. And one thing you can still see, I'm wearing a jacket. We're both wearing jackets because it's really nice and cold in here because they want the patient set to not feel, you know, sweaty and nauseated right. as the, they're going through the process. So just be aware. You might want to bring a sweater if you come onto the bus. We have a list of where they're going to be, uh, where this bus is going to be located uh, in our area in southeastern North Carolina on our website. Just go check it out. We also have the American Red Cross link there so you can get some more information to find out how you can get involved and donate and help those in need uh, th this January and for the rest of the year. Reporting here inside the American Red Cross bus, I'm going to send things back over to you. All right, thanks, Caroline. You put me in a comfy chair this time of the morning and it's just... It's probably why she got back up. <laughs> she 